Right, this is just a quick video to show you how to check the drivers on a Siemens MSD80 ECU. So here are ignition coil drivers. Uh, you can see the six spaces, one, two, three, four, five, six. This particular one is a four cylinder one. So these here are the only drivers that are being used. The one here with an Exxon. This is a previous bad one. I've just soldered him on there just to show you what a bad one looks like. I've tested this one and all of our four drivers here, they're fine, no issues. So uh, that isn't the issue with this particular ECU. But just to show you what you're looking out for, this is what you do. So you get your meter, you set him onto diode test, get your probes, black on the back, and read your measurements. 1.33, 0 0.55. Next one, black on the back, 1.33, 0 0.55, 1 1.33, 0 0.55, 1 1.33, 0 0.55. You can also go between each individual leg and flip them around the other way if you like and just go through and characterize them and just check out for anything that stands out. Um, the main thing to do is just check that they're all kind of acting the same. Now here's our bad one nothing happening there and a dead short and again nothing happening between those two nothing happening between those two and that's essentially it um, you can get hold of these drivers if you need them from RS components uh, it's an IRF 644B um, and yeah pretty easy to get hold of they can be a bit of a pain to unsolder um, these pads underneath they are used there for sort of transferring thermal heat away uh, so might be an idea to cut the legs off um, you can unsolder the legs separately then get a soldering iron in throw a good bit of solder onto the back of these tabs have your iron on a, a decent temperature and just keep hold on there until the solder gives underneath you've got all these patches there underneath um, and of course the the board here is designed to take away as much heat as possible so you need to throw a lot of heat back in to unsolder it but once you get it out um, especially with these legs off as soon as you start to see it move grab the thing up with a pair of tweezers pull him away job done swap him over with the new one and that should be your ECU repaired simple as that one other thing to remember is this particular diode test tends to work on the MSD80 uh, this was the earlier design, BMW later changed them to MSD81. If you do ever have a faulty ECU and you buy a new one, it is going to be the MSD81 version, like this. The MSD81 is similar on the inside, but we have our drivers now stacked over here. These drivers, when they do fail, they don't show the same issues. So unfortunately this here is um, this here is a particularly bad ECU. This one doesn't fire any coils, but um, we can see everything. So there we go. Black on the back. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Anything else happening here at all? 0 0.7. 0 0.6. 0 0.7. 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, and this one, 0 0.7, 0 0.6. Fortunately, this one here does have issues, but you can't find it out through the um, the diode test with the drivers. I'll have to look in and try and find out uh, what exactly is going on with these ones. Most likely, it's somewhere further down the line. It's not these chips that's bad; it's whatever's controlling them. So that's the next thing to do, see if we can figure out what they are. But there we go, that's your two different ECUs, MSD80. Uh, always check out for these drivers, replaceable if needed. MSD81, unfortunately a different issue happens with those.